Are our history teachers really as smart as they want us to think they are? Today we went around Gardens High School to test that. My name is Mr. Lilly. I teach AP Human Geography. Everyone should take it before they leave Gardens. Also, ACE Global Perspectives in Research, and I have been a teacher here for 22 years. I am Mrs. Barbado. I have been at Gardens High School for 15 years as a teacher, and I teach U.S. History and ACE Geography. Mr. Adams, I teach math, been here since 1997. Uh, what year was Palm Beach Gardens High School founded? The same year that I was born and the White Album came out, 1968. That's, oh. that's what it says on the website. The website. The website. Wrong. Ne the web. The web. The internet never lies. The website is wrong. The oh, that would be 1959. 1969. 1968 is the correct answer. 20th president of the United States of America. 20th president. Hold on, give me a second. Rover, Cleveland, Alexander. Cleveland? Andrew Johnson. No, it's not, because it was 17th. <laughs> I don't know. James Garfield. Um, what is the 10th tallest pyramid in the world? 10th tallest pyramid. Uh, the Lux in Las Vegas. Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. The Bass Pro Pyramid in Memphis, Tennessee. Correct. Yeah! Yeah! Booyah! How did Theodore Roosevelt earn the nickname Teddy? Uh, he found a orphan bear and a kid named their stuffed bear after him. Um, because he basically had this, uh, he had this hunting expedition where he was going to hunt bears, okay? Um, there were no bears, but then someone found a bear, right? Someone in his party, right? I think it was in the state of Alabama. Someone uh, found a bear and actually was going to, like, hold the bear and have the president, right, basically for a photo op, kill him. And Teddy let the bear go. He had a toy bear, didn't he? So what did we learn here today? Maybe don't let your math teachers teach history. Thanks for tuning in to Are You Smarter Than a Gator? I'm running. You should get the orange soda. It's amazing. Okay. I am so shocked and betrayed right now. Courtney has completely thrown me under the bus. I can't believe you just did that. Did what? You didn't get the orange soda. I changed my mind. But you said you would get the orange soda. Hello there. Are you hoping to find your future? Yes. Observe my orb and peek, you may. Heed my fortune, or there'll be a price to pay. On May 11th, 2023, you'll be fed at the senior picnic at PBJHS Day Green Space Stadium. There will be music and games and you need to bring your own chair, obviously. And it'll be casual and you must pay by May 6th. Oh, that actually doesn't sound so bad. Thank you. No, wait! There's more. May 12th of this year, there will be a senior brunch at Abagoa Golf Club. Oh, the theme, Enchanted Garden. Lucky you. Oh my goodness, dress accordingly. Um, there will be music, and there will be a hot buffet lunch. Okay, thanks. Bye, come again. Hi, I'm Paige Pimlack, and yeah, I'm a senior, but you know, I feel like I really haven't left my mark on this school yet. 
I've just kind of ghosted my way through pretty much every single thing I've done. So, I found a way to actually leave my mark. I'm going to break the rules. That's right, I'm going out with a bang whether they like it or not. Bash, break, and smash the rules into little tiny pieces. Anyways, I encourage all of you to follow in my steps. I'm begging you, please don't actually do anything that I've done in this video, please. Alright, let's do this. Hey, I'm Hoffa number one, and I'm here to break the rules. What do we do here? You're supposed to kick the trash can like I told you earlier. That's so... I'm going to pay you, you know. Great! I love this room! Money! Breaking the rules! Okay, first rule broken. Next, I'm come up with a pretty mischievous way to break another rule. And what's that? Prank calling. The staple of being mischievous. Killer. Why did the ch Why did the chicken cross the road? Well, you better go catch it! <laughs> Why did the chicken? Okay, um, I'm here with cover number three, and we're going on to the next way to break the rules. It's running in the hall. It's pretty exhilarating. It's a classic. You want to see who can get to the end of the hall first? What? Wait, what if we get caught? Wimp. One, two, three, go! Call monitor Herbert. Turn around on three. I'm turning! No running in the hall. My name is Herbert, and I'm the official unofficial Palm Beach Gardens High School hall monitor. Wow, look at the bird. Real mature, guys. Some of you may be thinking to yourself, hey, how come I don't remember this guy walking up these halls all year? And I'll say to you, you're darn lucky. Excuse me. Some of my duties involve securing the peace. Inside voices. Preventing fatal injuries and single-handedly stopping global warming. Planet saved. I can handle most of these tasks with relative ease, but the one thing I loathe the most is restroom duty. I sometimes like to go around campus and make sure all the bathrooms are in perfect condition. They usually aren't, but hey, why else did God give us pens, paper, and tape for? Sir, you have 30 more seconds before I come in there and wipe for you. You're holding up the line. You may be a senior, but that doesn't mean you get a discount at this restroom, buddy. That line was pretty stupid, wasn't it? Five, four. Hey, keep the toilet seat clean. I don't want to see no spilled lemonade on my this watch, bucko. Everywhere. He's a real funny man, this guy. All right. It'll be tough giving up my title, my shades. Has anybody seen my shades? Uh, Not my megaphone, since I actually bought, bought that one. Get out of here! Now! People do it! No running in the hall! But I'm sure the next official, unofficial hall monitor can take care of this school when I'm gone. I mean, what's the worst that can happen? She didn't wash her hands. This school is doomed. So you didn't choose Paul? You're going away for a long time, but Bucky. he's dead. These fortune telling gigs are just so easy. People are just such fools. I, I can't believe this remote controls everything. Oh, I'm all over. Don't I mean quiet. How are you doing today? I am having a good day. Observe my orb and peek, you may. Heed my fortune, or there be a price to pay. You good? What is happening? I see that on May 15, 2023, you will have a mandatory senior checkout at 8 a.m. Don't forget it. Also, it's in alphabetical order A, B, and C, maybe D. And then it'll be, um, they give out your cap and gown. Your cap and gown and your graduation tickets will be also there too. So be there or be square, bucko. Oh, oh okay. Uh, I'm going to ask you a few easy questions. They should be easy. Okay. What's your name? Uh, Jacob. Aiden. What's your name? Marcus. Jalen Mitchell. Brayden. Zach. Miguel. What's the principal's name? Um, oh, uh, um, Ms. Blavitt? Jay Blavitt. Something Jay. 
Mr. Blavitt. Oh. Uh, wait, give me a minute. Blavitt. Blavitt. Give me a minute, give me a minute. Jay Blavitt. Yeah. Oh. Never mind, I forgot. What are our school colors? Orange, blue. Like orange or blue? Green, blue, and orange. <laughs> blue, orange, and white? Or in green, yeah. Um, blue and orange. Blue and orange? White and green? It's only orange, blue, and green. Oh, school colors. Oh, oh, oh. I think I like like Do we actually have a pool on the roof of the third building? No. Anybody who thinks we do should probably go jump up and check. 100%, I went there. Nah. Nah. Yes. Yes. What company sponsors our football field? It starts with an M. Metro PCS? I don't know, Microsoft? Um. <laughs> Marshall. NFL? Never mind, I am no way. <laughs> it's Michael Jordan. Um, Marshmallow? Molinax. Is high school one word or two? One word. One word. One? It's one. One. It's two. Please. At least he got that word right. One. It's two words. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's it. I'm done. I'm done. Mrs. Roberts, your growling scares your students. Mr. <laughs> <laughs> Roltz, unfortunately, you were born albino, but you're still invited to the cookout. <laughs> That's all right. Uh, okay, I can take that. Miss Crane, no one cares about your puppy. I can tell you on Take Your uh, Child's Work Day, my students asked. I'm here to tell you right now. We don't care. Let me tell you. <laughs> Bruce Springsteen doesn't know you. Give it up. It's not about being known by Bruce Springsteen. Miss DiFilippo is too nice that it's suspicious. Hmm. <laughs> oh my god, there's so many. There's so many to choose from. All right, let me go back. Miss Peg, is it true? That you're messier than a shade room? Good no! Bye. Who said this? Ooh, should I tell her? This is fitting. Hi, I'm Stu Pitt. Will you be an angel for a helpless student? Well, that second chance for a break that would make it okay. Every day, an innocent senior is sent to school, tortured by education, and they're crying out for help. Please, can I go be? Do me a favor, punch in those nine digits and get one of these poor schmucks excused from school. Need some distractions. It's a collect call, so it costs you about 50 cents. If you can't spare that for some bored putts, then maybe you should consider your own worth. That's pretty pathetic. All I'm saying. If I didn't get any money, I'd be so sad. He really means it. Right now, there's a student who wants way too badly to get out of class, and you can help them maintain the dwindling state of their grades. Call now and join the spaz to get these students off their desks that they find strangely comfortable. One's crossover. And if you join in the next 23 minutes, your kid will come with a free can of soup. Because I've had these for a while and they're gonna go bad soon. I really need to go! <laughs> these kids need you. Are you really gonna deny them of their needs? I've been sitting here for 45 minutes. Please take a seat. I observe my orb and peek you may. Heed my fortune, or there will be a price to pay. Okay, you will see a beautiful sunset. Haven't seen one of those in many a year. Um, on May 15, 2023, at the PBJHS Stadium. 
There'll be snacks and a film. I like Toy Story. Um, okay. And also, it's free to every senior, so honestly, pretty good deal. If you don't go, sucks to suck. Thank you. That sounds like a lot of fun. Mm hmm. Here I am in the swampy gardens of southern Florida. I'm not particularly fond of this area. I'm just doing a, a quick study on the creatures around. This is where they put me. So I'm here. Here I am in the communal halls where the native creatures gather. Here they bask and enjoy each other's company. Truly a place of love. And <laughs> the Gonzales Guatemalas is a particularly slow moving breed. You might often find it sleeping out in the open, pretending to be dead so that any unsuspecting prey might feel comfortable walking right past it. <laughs> Dude, don't film me drinking water. Bro, I told you, stop! This is where the animals in the area go to relieve themselves. There are many different smells coming from this area, some said to have almost hallucinogenic qualities. Yeah, I guess. Do you, do you see that purple monkey? Where's that hey, purple monkey? Hi, purple monkey. In this great cave of moss, these more advanced creatures tend to seek forms of entertainment. It is said that they like to put on shows for one another. In order to gain the creature's trust, I myself will put on a show for them. <clears throat> Hi, I'm Stu Pitt. And No, it does not seem as if that worked. It doesn't matter, however, because like it or not, these creatures are my friends. I will admit it seems a pointless endeavor to try to study them for more information, as I like them just the way they are. I uh, guess I should just sleep well enough alone. Before we get rolling today, right, we're gonna start off with a little um, trivia. Um, can anyone tell me what UCF stands for? You can't finish! You're just about as funny as Blavid on Dad Joke Thursday. Lily, you are a comedic genius. You got that right. Now, onto the components of Weber's least cost theory. Kynan, you're two minutes late. Yeah, my bad. I hit three kids, Fleshman's foot, and a pigeon on the way here. Yeah, sorry, there's traffic. Why didn't you keep traffic in mind when you woke up? Well, quite frankly, I don't respect high school as an institution or you as a person. Sorry, sir. It won't happen again. Well, it better not. Now let's get back to Weber. Hello? No, I'm not doing anything important. What's up? I'm good, how are you? What are you doing? What does it look like I'm doing? I'm on the phone. Be quiet, I'm trying to talk to Stacy. Oh sorry, I'm on the phone with my mom. I'll hang up, bye, gotta go. Say hi to your mom for me. She hasn't been returning my calls, probably because I drive a scooter. Anyways, what are you doing on your laptop? I'm buying fireworks on the dark web. How much are they? Sorry sir, I'm just turning in my assignment. You're a god. Very well then. Can we please get back to Weber's least cost theory? Nice shoes. Do they come in men's? Nice test scores. Do they come in pass? What do you go to Dwyer? Oh my god, you're not funny. I'm very annoying. Is it good? It's good. 
No, this video is so funny. It reminds me of cats. It's so good. Oh man, you should really watch this. Video. I mean, hi, I'm here for my fortune. Ah, I've been waiting for you. I observe my orb and peek you me in my fortune. Was I'll be obliged to pay. Ooh, spooky. <sighs> Tell me my fortune. His fortune. On May 16th, 2023, you will be soaked. What? Because you'll be at the rapids. At the rapids. At from 10 a.m. to, to 2 p.m. Okay, a little early. But 10 to 2. Get that straight to school. Wow. Seems cool. But wait, there's more! There's an award ceremony. May 16th as well. But. You gotta be invited, sucker. Okay, seems cool. I guess my future seems okay. You must not be late on the 17th of May. There is a rehearsal for graduation in the PBGHS gym at 8 a.m. What the heck's going on? May 18th, your life will change. Graduation is at the fairgrounds from 1 p.m. to 2.30 p.m. But arrive at 11 p.m. I better not be late! Hello guys, and welcome to Uncensored. Today we'll be visiting a TV and film classroom. We're gonna find out the deepest and darkest secrets. Come here, follow me. Hey, hey Gonzalo, I've been waiting for you. What's up? Yeah, right. hey, come here, come here, come here. So this is the GNN studio. This is where you see all things film at the swamp. We've got the swamp airing over there. We've got GNN. We do all our filming, editing here, everything like that. Here's our state-of-the-art classroom with all of our students. And make no mistake, I'm the boss here. That's over there, is right there is Dockery. He's our teacher, whatever that means. Over here we got our bodyguards, like stone. Do not move unless they need to tend. So this is where the real magic happens. Come here. So it all starts with my office, the boss, Brennan. This is where everything gets created. I'm the mastermind behind everything you see here. Every actor has a booth. Um, this is Marcelino's booth. He's been missing for a week or so. Our premier actor, Paul Brunash, actor Stu Pitt. Let's go in his room real quick. Where's the sandwich and the juice boxes I asked for? Um, Angie, you got the. Perdón, perdón, no había jugos, pero aquí está tu sandwich. Uh, uh this, is, this is olive loaf? Okay, send in the Belafonte. Guards, come here. Um, take her out of here. <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry about that, Paul. Hey, what? Uh, make sure you want me on the camera? Uh, I think he's talking to you. Uh, I don't work for you. Now on to our. Now on our editors. What happened to this guy? Um, we don't like to discuss him. Do people actually like working here though? Uh, no, not really. Now you get to meet one of our world-class editors, Matthew May. Now, just before we go in there, I'd like to preface. He likes to get into characters, so don't believe anything he says. Hey buddy, you working on your editing and stuff like that? Some cool stuff? You know I am. Please, I need help. I haven't hey, seen my family. Hey, Please, hey, help me. Um, is that Marcelino? Where have you been all this time? That's this. I've been in the hospital for a week. I sent you an email. I don't check that. I carry your pigeons, probably best. Our actor, Mark Robb. So, he has won us two straight STNs. Isn't it? Hey, but, hey. Two straight STNs. I like him a little better than stupid. He doesn't have anger issues. Marcelino Reyes. Love that kid. Great actor. Oh. I think... I think he's died. I think he died. We are now casting to fill the role of Marcelino Reyes. We got some cool stuff cooking in the swamp. I want to show you this. Hold on. Hey, boss. Guard sent to Uh, yeah? Paul's assistant. She escaped Belafonte. Oh. Um, yeah, that's not going to be a problem. What, what are you doing? They're, they're hiding something. I know, I know they're hiding something. Oh, what You're going to get both of us killed. No, no, no. Wait, wait, wait. What's, what's in their history? Uh, where's, a, where's a place we can hide some? How to make PB&J sit? What? What? How to find a missing person? Okay, okay. Doesn't this look... Doesn't it look We're going to die! Oh. I'm going to die! Oh. <laughs> Dr. Hoffman's location? What happened to... Who's Adalia? The real deal? The gum incident? What's actually... I, I, need, I, I need to know what that is. 
He's obsessed with PB&J. You keep looking. I need, I need to find more stuff. I need more stuff. Oh. Well, like what you finding? Guards. Anthony? No. Come here. No. Anthony. I want to tell you, sir. No. I saw no. I want to tell you. Please. Please don't make me get no. them on. No. I can't even get up. No. I can't. Oh. Get up. the results of any Celtics game. Stupid! Well, it looks like it ain't over. Like it or not, these creatures are my friends. Guess I should just sleep well enough alone. Oh my god, okay. Is that good? 